Hey Google, set 50% power. All right, power 50%. Oh, too much power. Danner, tech, danner, tech, danner, danner, tech, danner, tech, danner. Hello, this is Danner Tech. So I just finished making a live stream about how to build a Tesla coil winder out of some wood and some threaded rod and some various other things. And this Tesla coil winder actually turned out pretty well. It works great. I haven't really tested it winding a Tesla coil yet, but that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. So while I was thinking about making this video, I wanted to kind of change up the way a Tesla coil winder works. So before I was using this little foot pedal for a sewing machine, and I just connected that in series with the power supply and, and the device. So that way I could just step on it with my foot and I could turn on the Tesla coil winder. Now, a lot of times when you're winding a Tesla coil, you have the issue that you're using both hands to wind the Tesla coil, and you don't really want to adjust the power or adjust the speed, even though you need to, because sometimes you need to make the Tesla coil winder speed up or slow down. So I decided to make the Tesla coil winder voice controlled. And so I recently got this particle photon from MIT. I won it in a contest. And uh, one cool thing about the particle photon is it's basically a Wi-Fi connected Arduino. And so I connected that up to the internet and I wrote some code for it. Then I connected it up through the app If Then Then That. And I connected it to something, the Google Assistant. So that way I can literally tell Google to set the power of the motor to whatever percent power that I want. And it will set the power to that percent. And it'll turn on the motor. So either full speed or hardly any speed, and it'll make it be really cool. So, uh, there we go. Let me explain a little bit about the particle photon. So this right here is the particle photon. As you can see, I have four wires going to a motor driver, and that motor driver is connected to a battery. So I can power it from here. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to work because my phone's running a video right now. I'm not sure if this is going to show up on the video, but let me see if it works. Hey, Google. Hey Google. All right, it doesn't work with my phone. But anyway, what happens is you tell Google what to do, and the particle photon will send a PWM signal to the motor controller, which will turn on the motor to whatever set power. And I'll connect the wires to the wires of the motor on my Tesla coil wonder. So this right here is my code on particle. And basically what you have here is you have the ends, and the ends are basically just the pins that connect to the motor controller. And you have void setup. You've got the speed output and all these things. And then you have the particle functions. The functions are what you can call through the if then then that app. So I have the function power and the function off. The function power can turn on and off the motor. I set the power to the motor. And the function off just literally turns the motor off. Then I set all the powers to zero. And then here we go. Here's the void loop. So what happens is when you call a function, you can add ingredients into the if then then that applet. And those ingredients will be fed in as a string. So I took that string and I converted it into an int with a two int uh, function. And then I mapped that int into another uh, integer where I mapped it between 0 and 100 and 0 and 255, which are the two uh, numbers you need to use for power on PWM. Then you have the thing and it writes basically speed PWM level, forward, high, backwards, low, all that stuff. And then emergency stop just turns it off when you say stop. Let's look at the applets. So this right here is the uh, if then that app, and this is how it can control it. So basically what happens is it'll be triggered by the Google Assistant, where when you talk to Google and you say, okay, Google, then it will ask for these few specific phrases. So there's set power to number, set number percent power, power number percent. And what'll happen is that number that you say will be sent to the particle, and then it will say, all right, power number percent. So it'll respond to you. And what it'll do is it'll call the function power, and it's that function that we're looking at right here, and it will send the number into that field. So it'll send this number as a string. And then it'll just do that. That's all it does. That's pretty simple. And after it does that, it'll turn on the power to that whatever percentage. All right, so watch this. Hey Google, set 50% power. Check it out, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Hey Google, motor off. 
Down. Why isn't it working? Hey Google. 100% power. Here's a matching video. Of course, Google Assistant. Google. Hey Google. Motor off. Shutting down. No, the photons lost Wi-Fi connection. All right, sorry about that. We must be a little bit too far from the Wi-Fi. Hey Google. Set 75% power. All right, power 75%. Pretty cool. Hey Google, motor off. Shutting down. Ah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, watch it up close. Hey Google, set 75% power. All right, power 75%. Hey Google, set 37% power. All right, power 37%. And in case of an emergency stop, I can be, hey Google, motor off. Shutting down. She even says shutting down. So that's just an awesome thing. And I think this is going to really help me when I actually start winding a coil on here. Because instead of having to use a lame foot pedal, I can just have my phone sitting here. And I can be winding it. And if I want to make it go a little faster, I can tell it to go a little faster. If I want it to go a little slower, I can tell it to go a little slower. And if something goes wrong, I can just... Yell at Google to shut it down, and it will do it immediately. All right, I say it's about time to get started. Winding, what do you say? Well, let's see what Google says. Hey Google, set 25% power. All right, power Hey Google, set 38% power. All right, power 38%. Oh, that's fine. So you can see that those winds look very nice. As you can see I probably have like 30 wounds on there and I still have a lot more to go. But before I wind my entire Tesla coil, I wanna figure out the exact amount of winds that are on this thing. And for that, I will need to build another jig, and that jig will mount on here with a magnet and a little counter. So that way, I could probably even use the particle photon to count how many turns this device is able to do. Because I really want to know how many turns are on my Tesla coil. So for now, that is all. As always, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for next time. Hey Google, turn. Did I activate? Dang it. Hey Google, motor off.